everybody, it's Lynette. I'm prepping on a budget. Uh, this is going to be part two of the actual versus perceived savings. Um, if you did not uh, watch part one, please do so. That way you'll kind of know where we're picking up here. I'm going to use the three dawns as a very simple explanation, a simple example of the reason I try very hard to get the word out that um, the savings that at the bottom of your receipt is going to show you if you're you know, every time you're a card carrying member at a store, the bottom of your receipt is going to print out how much money you saved that day. Well, if that's the only store that you shop at, then yes, that is how much you saved. However, again, if you've got two stores available to you, you've got competition, everybody is after your money these days. So, um, you know, me personally, I check my store's prices about once a quarter. And that way I know exactly where my cheapest price is to go buy stuff. And here's why. Alright, so here's a quick breakdown of the example that I'm using for this video. Again, we're talking about the, the Dawn dish detergent. I'm just going to use this um, for example purposes. CVS sells this all day long. $1.77 is their regular retail price. Dollar General's regular retail price is $1.15. Now because I study this, I do this, I work this, I've been working this for the last year, I know that CVS is going to put this on sale for $0.99, cents, typically at least once a month. Sometimes it's about once every three weeks. So I usually wait until it goes on sale and then I'll buy three or four of them. Today, uh, for this example, I bought three, which I did actually buy three, but I'm leaving coupons and um, store coupons and rewards and all that stuff out of this example. This is just to show you how you can save money even without couponing. <laughs> so, but save actual money, not perceived money. If I had walked into CVS and bought three of them, it would my at the regular price, and I'm not picking on CVS, but this is just a perfect example. My regular price would have been five thirty one. They're on sale for ninety nine cents. I would have paid out of pocket two ninety seven. Now, if I had walked in, bought three of them on sale, I am a card carrier member at the bottom. Up at the bottom of my receipt, it's going to show me how much money I saved today. It's going to say that I saved two thirty four, which looks really cool because that's almost 50% of the retail price because it was on sale. However, the only way I would have saved $234 is that if CVS is the only place that I buy this product at, I saved $234 off of their retail price. I can go next door to Dollar General buy the very same product for $1.15. Forget the fact that it's on sale. I can save 62 cents a bottle by knowing that Dollar General sells it for $1.15 versus CVS at $1.77. It's crazy for me not to buy it at Dollar General unless CVS has it on sale. So my actual savings in this example, because I am not store loyal, I am price loyal and sale loyal. <laughs> so my actual savings by buying Dawn detergent at CVS in this example is the difference, of course, between what I paid and what I would have paid at my lowest retail price until I find it on sale somewhere. So my savings would have only actual my actual savings would have only been 48 cents, not two dollars and 34 cents. Again, a few stipulations going on in there. I understand that, but basically, I know Dollar General is the cheapest place for me to buy this product. I do know that, that it's going to go on sale at CVS at some time. I do stock up. I ignore my store receipt because that does not apply to me because I shop several stores. However, this is my lowest price that I know of. This is the, the sale price. This is where I buy it at when it goes on sale, only when it goes on sale, and I stock up. But my true savings was only $0.48 cents in this example. So let me know what you think. I'm going to put the, the breakdown over on the blog with some other information. If you should happen to flip over there, which I'll do a video about that later, I have rearranged the whole entire blog. It's got a whole different feel. 
I'm trying to get um, some better information on there, clean it up a little bit, get it uh, somewhat more organized. But I do appreciate it if you do check it out. And um, we will talk soon. Think about this. If you have questions, comments, suggestions, your own way of doing business, your own way of saving money, please you know, leave a comment and um, we can discuss it. And you know, I'm always looking for somebody else's idea because you know, if, if I'm thinking about this wrong, somebody please straighten me out. Thanks a lot, everyone.